Today is Thursday, June the 24th. You'll recall that on June the 11th, I said that I had gone 50%, a little bit more than that, to cash. And I was worried about a market pullback. I had reached a number in my trading accounts that I was comfortable with. I had hit that number three other times, only to see that number pull back. So when I hit it or close to it again, um, I pulled back. Now I did keep some stock and with the market continuing to move up, I'm now I'm up to that number that I was at, at my, at my highest. So why would I want to risk losing any of that? So I'm still staying cash, but today I dipped in with three call spreads, Apple, Micron and WC. DC. So three technology stocks. And I want you to listen to this video by um, McClellan. It's really great. Tex will lead the way, but he talks about another thing. He talks about um, how the market's got its hair on fire. And he also talks about the volatility index and the Bollinger Bands. But let's look at the summation index. I told you on the last video, I think Friday, that I really can't make much sense of the really correlation between the summation index and the S&P, but I can tell you this, that when a summation was at its high here, the S&P dropped. When it was at its high here, the S&P did this, and then finally did, you know, pretty good pullback. When it was at its peak here, it had this pullback, you know, just a little period ahead. These were lower highs, but now we're starting to make a higher high and a higher high again. So when we hit this one, we had this area of pullback. Now I'm thinking there's going to be another area of pullback, but my, my call spreads are all August and September. The first call is at the money, and the second call is either 10 or $20 out, where um, I don't expect the stock to hit either in August or September. If you want the exact numbers, just ask me in the comments. So I expect the short calls to expire worthless, and I'm hoping the long calls will make money. But I know what my risk is because I can't lose any more than what I've spent, and today I spent $10,000. Um, and I'm okay with losing that, but I think my chances are better than that, better than even. So look at the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones didn't quite make the top of the cloud. We said that it would come down and test the intersection of the 50 and the cloud. It did, dropped below that, and now is moving up, but it has the cloud ahead of it. The NASDAQ made a new high today, and this is what um, McClellan said in a video two weeks ago, that the NASDAQ would outperform. He was absolutely right. And now he's saying tech is going to lead the way again, and this is why I bought three tech call spreads and I'm looking for others. By the way, I found um, Micron um, on uh, tip ranks, highly recommended stock on tip ranks, as was uh, WDC, stock that I've traded in uh, quite a bit before. Now, Apple had a bit of a pullback, but it's still in a bullish mode. Neo barely squeaked um, a gain today, stopping at the 78.6% of its Fibonacci. Uh, still room to move for the Chiku span in the cloud. Um, IBM below the 8 EMA. Square, big pullback on the day, but nonetheless, look at the Chiku span here, avoiding the cloud, and the candles are above the flat cloud here. So this is also bullish. Sava, that's our Alzheimer's stock. Now, Eli Lilly released some news today, hoping to get early approval without completing phase three for their um, product. Now it's a monoclonal antibody, which means it's not going to be a pill. Uh, the CASA uh, product is a small molecule. It is a pill. And they expect to show nine month um, good data, which no Alzheimer's drug has shown before. And they're entering phase three clinical trials in August. So I'm pretty bullish on that. I now have two sets of call spreads. There are a total of 10 spreads. Apple, Apple um, bounced off the 50. Apple, AbV, and a little bit of a bounce here off the cloud. But look at the Chiku span. There's some pretty formidable resistance up there. So I'm not jumping back into that. US Bank 
and all the other banks had a good day today because they released their um, capital reserves data or the Fed released the data on their bank's capital reserves and they're all doing just fine. Now, where was resistance today? If we take that green line, we can see resistance was right at the 50 moving average for the Chiku span. Watch that because it's as good a resistance tell sign um, as anything is the Chiku span and moving averages. Can't tell you why it happens because it's 26 days in arrears, um, but it happens. Um, what else do we want to look at? MP, resistance at the cloud. You want to buy this stock? You can nibble in a little bit once it gets over the cloud, um, but expect to see resistance when the Chiku span runs into the cloud here. Um, what else do we want to look at? CVS, under the eight, to just like IBM pretty much. Walmart, um, under the eight, no, no excitement there. So that's our look at the market, our look at the stocks. McClellan says the market is on fire. Um, I'm positioning for a little bit of a pullback. I'm not buying stocks, but I am buying risk identified call spreads in August and September.